Hi. Now in the previous tutorial, I showed you that if you had, say, any value, let's say, call it x, to the negative power n, it was exactly the same as working out 1 divided by x to the positive value of n. For instance, suppose we had just, say, 3 to the power minus 2. Then, according to this rule here, this is exactly the same as 1 divided by 3 to the power 2. 1 divided by 3 squared. And 3 squared is 9, so we end up with 1 ninth. But the purpose of this particular tutorial is to work now, instead of with whole values, integer values, we're going to look at rational values, fractions in other words. Say for instance we had two-thirds, a rational value here, to the power say minus two. Then the value of x here is the two-thirds, so this is exactly the same as one divided by all of two-thirds squared. In other words, then, what we get is 1 divided by 2 squared over 3 squared. That's if we square out that 2 thirds. Now, to clean this up, what I've got to do is times top and bottom of this fraction by 3 squared, just so I can get rid of that 3 squared. And what happens is that we end up with 1 times 3 squared, which is 3 squared, and that is divided by, well, 2 squared over 3 squared times this 3 squared. Those two 3 squareds cancel, and we're just left with 2 squared. So what you can see has happened is the fraction has inverted. And we can think of this now as all of 3 over 2, all squared. So there's a quick way of going from here straight to this answer here. All that we're doing is just inverting the fraction, 2 thirds here, writing it as 3 over 2, and then switching from a negative power to the positive power. So we can sum this up by this simple rule, that if we've got a fraction, okay, let's say we've got a over b, all to the power minus n, well then this is exactly the same as turning the fraction upside down, so we get b over a, and switching the power from a negative power to a positive power, so it's to the power n. So this is a result which we'll just box here, okay? It's an important result, and if you can remember it, it will really save a lot of time in calculations. So for instance, if we had this example, 3 quarters then, to the power, say, minus 3, then we can go straight to the answer by inverting this fraction, writing it as 4 thirds, and then switching the sign on the power. So it's minus 3, we just change it to positive 3. So we've got 4 thirds all cubed, and that's exactly the same as 4 cubed divided by 3 cubed. 4 cubed, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64, and 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. And I'll leave it like that, 64 27 Here's another one. We've got, say, 2 fifths this time, but to the power negative 1. What would this one be? Well, if we turn it upside down, it becomes 5 over 2, and then it's going to be to the power 1. But anything to the power 1, well, it's just going to leave it unchanged. So that's going to be simply 5 over 2. Now, for the last one, I've decided to go for a mixed fraction, 3 and a half this time, and we'll also add in a letter. Let's say 3 and a half x cubed, and all of this is to the power minus 2. So how do we do this one? Well, first of all, I want to change 3 and a half to a top-heavy fraction. 
And three and a half is the same as seven over two. So we've got seven over two. And then it's multiplied by x cubed. So I'm going to say that that's 7x cubed then over 2. And it's all to the power minus 2. So we just stick with the rule that we've got up here. And that is turn the fraction upside down. So we've now got 2 all over 7x cubed. And this is raised to the power 2. So we've just got to square top and bottom. And if we square the 2, 2 times 2 is 4. And if we square 7x cubed, we've got 7 7s of 49. And if we do x cubed times x cubed, it's going to be x to the power 6. Or we just simply multiply those numbers together. So we get 4 over 49 x to the power 6. OK, so I hope it's given you an idea now on how we can use fractions to a negative power by this simple rule.